time. Hold on. Don't say anything. You fucking cunt. Good boy. <laughs>. Welcome back to our stupid fashion corp. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Forum, GC Kind, I think you should be I'm having some oatmeal. Would you like some with me? Disgusting. Disgusting? Spectacular. I don't want anything you've ever touched. It's, it's oatmeal. If you've touched something, I do not want it. I've touched your children. <laughs> it's this is just this is for adoption. <laughs> this is just some some oatmeal with some almond slivers. That's it. Nothing else. I'll show you an almond sliver. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we got some mail from somebody. We got some mail. We got some mail. I don't know why, but we got some mail. And I don't know if they want me to shout them out at all, so I'm not going to yet. Yeah, um, um, because some people don't like that. Some people don't like that. But um, I do believe this is um, uh, specifically South Indian Diwali stuff. Uh, st uh, no, For lack of a better term, you were going to say mishtis, weren't you? No, I was going to say like uh, sweets. Yeah, but I don't think it's just. I think it's like things that you eat on Diwali. So like authentic Diwali snacks, yeah. foods. Got it. Um, but obviously they're all in little individual containers because it's a company that they've got it through. Right. Um, and so obviously they're not going to be normal fresh. So we know this obviously. Yeah. But it's super sweet and super awesome. Um, if the audio. Uh, has been terrible. It was because um, the audio hadn't really started yet. So. I apologize. I hadn't should started be the audience. So the audio, audio, audio should, should be, be a lot better now. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot, Corbin. Uh, so, yeah, we're just going to try some South Indian Diwali stuff. Um, this is a little list with the little descriptions of oh. stuff. So I'll pull one out, and you can figure out what it is so we can do this kind of quick. A lot of the names for these are like a lot of the names of the films that are going to be very difficult to pronounce. Uh, so this is a can. I don't think it's really says anything. Ooh, was these, that these ones? was that unsealed, or did you unseal it? No, I it? unsealed it. Okay, one. I think I that is Garor Tenga Mitai. I know that it smells like a gingerbread cookie. A little bit, right? Yeah. Garor Tenga Mitai. It's a traditional treat that takes you on a delicious journey to the heart of southern India. Made with freshly grated coconut and jaggery, this chewy coconut candy is the epitome of authentic flavor. The perfect balance of sweetness in each bite is a symphony of chewy taste, and this is the perfect delicacy for those who crave a taste of tradition. Tradition! Here, take one. Slauncha. Slauncha. Salud. Mazel tov. Ooh, look, it has a little hole in the back. Surprisingly, mm. quite fresh, actually. You'd yeah. think it'd be harder. Right. It feels kind of fresh. It does. Okay. That's nice. Here's the question. You a fan of coconut and stuff? No. Oh, I am, and man... Um, so that would be the one thing that's not my... It's not terrible, and I can eat it. And I I'll, love I it. I eat a few of these. The texture of coconut throws me off. I love everything about coconut, it's man. Like sticks in your mouth. Oh, this is delicious. But it's quite quite delicious. It's it's like a super moist gingerbread cookie that also has some coconut in it. Yeah. Right? It's quite good. That is really good. Yeah. I love that. I'd eat that one again. All right. Now we got a yellow box. Is there something that looks like this? Let's see. Oh my word. It's crumbling. Now that you got all your nasty mitt all over it. Look at that. That is a giant. Is it is that this one right here? Under the one that we just had? Maybe. It looks like it probably yeah, is. Yeah, that's the only one that would be. Coin Um Ooh, that's interesting. It's a crumbly sweet. Looks crumbly. The king declared it the royal sweet. Oh, really? As time flies, the chefs at 
someplace, forgive me, I don't know how to pronounce this, they recreated it with a twist and gave it a unique velvety texture that would stay on your taste buds for a lifetime. Okay, sláinte. Sláinte. Smells cookie doughy. What do you think? Just wait. And how that explodes. Mm. And... <laughs> Dang. We don't have anything like that. Because it's kind of it's the consistency weird. of cookie dough. It is, but then it just but kind so of dissolves. Yeah, it just, just disappears. Also, surprisingly, these taste like quite it's super fresh, fresh. For being a package thing that I know has been in there for probably weeks. Yeah. So I can't imagine what the fresh ones taste like, right? That's quite yeah, good. That's really good. It's very sweet, obviously. It's super a sweet, but what's surprising is it really, upon entry, is cookie doughy, but then it just dissolves and disappears. It's like a magic trick. Wow. If cookie dough was Harry Houdini. I don't know if you want it That's all. good. No, I'm good. I want to take, because we're taking a lot of bites. Yeah. What um, do you want me to just set it on the... There you go. Fine. Just drop it, it in the... Uh. Yeah, that's... um. That's, that's good. Two for two. It's super sweet. Super sweet. But two for two. I like it. Quite <clears throat> good. It's just like... Cleanse the palate with my... Yeah, I need to you need know, some coffee or water. Mm -hmm. A little coffee cleanse. I don't have a trash can in here, and I've definitely... I know, we definitely <laughs> need one. After all these years, we've never had... The only time we have trash is when we've got a huge mail opening, and we've gotten... <laughs> just... Ooh. That feels like it was sent in as a sample to the doctor. <laughs> What's in there? I don't know. Ooh. Is that it's too good, or is that... I don't know that I want to eat that one. What is that? It might be this consistency, though. It might be this thing on top here. Oh, yeah, here. yeah, it's that consistency. Uh, Shriveliputhar Palkova. Uh, the story started around the early 1820s when a Rajput, Dev Singh, set up a sweet stall near the Andal Temple mm -hmm. and started making this creamy sweet dish that um, inspired the temple... What word is that? Prasadam? Mm. The recipe's simple. It includes just milk and sugar, but the resultant product is a dish that touches the sweetest note in one's taste buds. Okay, if, if it has milk in it, then I mean, there's no odor. Well, what's at all. the what's the expiration date on that, kid? I don't, I don't know if it has one. All right. I mean, I'll... go right ahead. Tell me what you think. Very similar to the last one, in terms of just it's it's sweet. Yeah, there's no, there's nothing. Sweet and gooey? Mm-hmm. It's good. Kind of a grits consistency, but like much, obviously, grits aren't sweet. Um, That's fun. I could see how little kids would yeah, love so that. Obviously, it's normally in like a bowl. It's really simple. Yeah, it's normally. Yeah. Like, it's just, it's sweet. It's got a nifty little grits texture. Yeah. Yeah. It's similar to the taste of the last one. Uh, a little different. Right. It's just but, the texture is hugely um, different. And it's in, it just looks odd because it's just in a package. It's normally here. Yeah. You don't see stuff that looks like this. Just no. Like in a package like this. Yeah, you know. In India, obviously, I know you do. All the time. Um, but good. Well, and this is great because of the cuisines, we are least Big. aware of the uh, South, South Indian, Indian stuff. Yeah. So, once again, thank you. This one is. Ooh, oh, banana looks like chips. banana chips. Uh, right there. Where, yeah. Nagar uh, Koil Nandan Chips. This is their star product. The bananas really? are procured from the border of Tamil Nadu and Kerala, fried in ground nut oil, and marinated in pepper. Unlike your usual everyday banana chips, you'll find the absolute difference as you bite this thick and crunchy snack. Oh, yeah. No matter how much you eat, you'll always crave more. Just like your mom. Do you like banana chips? I love banana I chips. Don't. Oh. That's awesome. It's the pepper. Yeah, the pepper's really nice. It's spicy, but. Dang. That's good for That's you. awesome. I've never had. <laughs> I've never had a banana chip that is all. When I get a potato chip, one of my favorite pota potato Worse. chips is salt and pepper. <laughs> and and the kind that I get is really, really peppery. 
Oh, yeah, I can tell this is probably going to bother Corbin. It's, it's delicious, though. The back of your throat's got the pepper, right? Yeah. It really kicks you in the back of the throat. What? I'm this so shocked. This is phenomenal. Well, I'm so, once again, this is not sponsored. Somebody sent us this. Not a company, a, a person, like a patron, I'm pretty sure. It's not sponsored. But this tastes so fresh. Yeah, I got it. If you want to know, this is what was inside. So whoever sent this, this is not a sponsored thing, but that's it. And so far, so really dang good. The, everything's They're really on Instagram. Fresh. They're on Facebook. They're on uh, Twitter. Once again, it's not Really, sponsored. really good. Oh, we have to, we will tell you if it works. I'm, I'm really, one of the most shocking things is not just how good it is, but how fresh these yeah. things have stayed. I would think this would be stale by this time. Um. All of them have been really good. This okay. is by far. Well, this is this is the this, other ones were sweets. Yeah, this is one of the best banana chips I've ever tasted. Or is it a plantain? Was it banana? Yeah, it's banana. Particularly because <sighs> if you're a fan of pepper, I like banana chips. Anyway, I've had them all kinds. I've had store bought. I've had homemade. But the fact that this has that black pepper. Oh, yeah, that's probably this is even great. though it's super hot for me. It's oh. still it's still quite delicious. Um. I, I could eat that. I think we're going back to the. Sweets. I would order those without question just to have them at home. And we got another. Goo. And Ronnie would love that. We got another goo. <laughs> yeah, I love the goo. <laughs> Squirt your goo all over me. <laughs> what? The we crap? never have any like never. in America. Like you would never be shipped something in this that's like all gooey. You'd be like, no. You know what? I have a. I'm gonna bring that to a, something like that to a friend's house and don't wrap it. Just give them that package and go. Here you go. Oh my word. What's in there? Oh wow! Look at that. That's. Oh, that looks like looks like it came out of a camel's uh, scrotum. What is what that? That is. That one. Top that, one. That, that one. Right there. This one right here. No, this one. That one. Right. Halva. It's a halva. It's halva. No way. Oh wait. I, I've had carrot halva before, and you so have you. Okay, that's halva. I was thinking halva for those oh, of no, you who I know what halva, halva is. The halva was first prepared in. Does that say 1662? Like. By Jagan Singh, hired by the Chakrabarti Zimindar, who was enraptured by the sweets he tasted, and insisted. Ooh, my mouth's so hot. Yeah. The halwa you are holding now yes. is made by the pupils of Jagan Singh, and sourced from the same shop he established. It's a... in in like 16 or is that 1882? I think that's 1882. Or is it 1552? You know what would help? <laughs> the this, font is so little. This is, the consistency is so interesting because it kind of scares like, me. In the bag, it feels like the other one. Like the, yeah, the it did, but right? Like, but it's, it's, like it's not. Almost Ooh. solid. <laughs> like, the only reason he's saying. 1882. Okay. The only 1882. reason he's saying is because like, we would never be sent stuff like this for like in America. It's no. Like if you got some from the store and it was like no. mushy and Mushy package. and weird, you'd just be thinking to yourself, I don't think this has Obviously, stayed well. We know this is very common okay. for Indian sweets. So, so yeah. Uh, All right. I'm taking a. Take a. Take a. Take a. It's piece. almost like a. Mmm. It's almost gelatin esque. And I know it's probably not gelatin, obviously. <laughs> I don't think gelatin is a big staple of Indian cuisine. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. That's pretty good. How would you describe that texture? I don't know, and I don't like it. <laughs> it's somewhere in between jello yeah. and pudding. Yeah. Right? I'm a texture person, so the textures like throw me off. And, and like then a the solid and a <laughs> liquid and the flavor <laughs> and it's pretty good. It, the flavor's good, but I think because we had it after the banana chips, it's yeah. it's it's really, it's kind of the the flavor kind of walks up on you sideways yeah. and says, it's, it's "How good. you doing?" It's my least favorite of them, though. I agree. So far, that it's one I could do without. It's still good, it's, though. Yeah, it's still it's okay. Yeah, but it's it's not. But I'm with all you. the other sweets were better. Yeah, uh, so far than that one. Agreed. Uh, this one is I don't know. What do we got here? Oh, that oh, one looks almost? like. Is, that, that is this one? this? The Karakuri yeah, yeah. Ederasam. Yeah, Ooh, that looks yummy. Roughly translated to excess boundless sweetness. It's true to its name. The origin of Ederasam is said to trace back to the reign of Krishna Devaraya in the 1500s. Many Indian states claim this sweet patty. It's also famous in Nepal and Sri Lanka, but 
It's a no-brainer that Karikuri makes the perfect and original Adhirasams, and no one can beat the Adhirasams made by our favorite Sundaram Achi. I know I probably butchered those pronunciations. Yeah, I'll just... You know what? Interesting. What the? At it... first glance, it looked like it could be a fig something or other. Yeah, or it's a... It's Even a, a, a patty-looking kind sausage. of thing. Sausage. Interesting. India has such interesting sweets. All right, one, two, three. Yeah. Mmm. It grows on you. At first, I don't like the I didn't like the texture of biting into it, but the thing on the inside is interesting. Very sweet, but subdued. Indian food. Irrespective of if it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, or mishtis. So interesting. It tastes like nothing you've ever tasted no, in your had, life. I've never had anything like this. Never. And even the texture. The texture is super interesting. It's really oddly interesting. I'm not a huge fan no, of, of the texture. Me neither. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it's it's so intriguing. Yeah. It was good. Like I said, still the same as... I it. can't even liken it to something I've had before. No, it's it's very unique. It's dry. Yeah. It's a dry... But at the same time... It is. The it has enough moisture. I think the outside's dry. Like, when you first take a bite of this, your thought is, I'm going to need a glass of water. Yeah. And then you don't. Yeah, the inside kind of moistens your mouth a little bit. Kind of like I do of your mom. This would be good with a cup of chai. Yeah, it would. What's, what do we got there? Well, I think we're done with the sweets. All right. Right. So getting into the savories. I don't know because we had a savory, the did banana we have savories. That one already? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we did we that. that. We had that. We had all of these. Okay. We yeah. had all of these. We've done the the chips, so I think all we've got left are. I the, think it's all savory. Yeah, which is my favorite. And these should be packs of stuff. Oh yeah, we've had. This looks like it's probably the Maduri Dixit. <laughs> it says it's a Maduri Dix mixture, right? Don't you think it's that? It's either that or that one, but I don't know. If no, there's sticks there. So this is smaller. Uh, what comes to mind when you think of Maduri, other than jasmine? If your answer is mixture, you're a true foodie indeed. Our mixture is the most loved snack by every South Indian and comes straight from the city that never sleeps. New York? The crunchy and spicy Maduri mixture... <laughs> Is a perfect side dish that goes perfectly with anything. I think we've had these in snack videos before. Yeah. And so I'm guessing these are going to be fresher, well, maybe? it looks like many different kinds of snacks I've had before, whether they were here on the channel or we had them in India. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm interested to see what the flavors are like compared to... I think to... it's going to be hot, too. Here we go. go. Definitely fresher. It's, that is the thing I'm most impressed with, is how fresh everything tastes. Yeah. For being something I know has probably been in a box for a minute. Ah! weeks my wife and with our afternoon cha man there's a kick here comes the kick do you taste yeah, it yeah it's coming it's coming it's coming it's good though it's really good the flavor on that's really good that's a spectacular thing to have with a cup of cha in the afternoon yeah oh I love the peanut kind of. Yeah, that's one of the things that we've we've done. We, we always have. I make her cha in the morning, and then we have some together in the afternoon. But to have something savory with your cha, Ugh. that's delicious. Ooh, hot. Yeah, it's got some kick at the end. Hot. I like it. Like it a lot. Uh, I like it a lot. Yeah, that one's good. I'm getting schmutz on my mutz. All right, we've got one more else. One more else? <laughs> This is Hello, friends. What is that? That one looks like it's the, no. yeah. Satwa Ribbon Sivel. The secret behind the taste and crunchiness of Satwa Ribbon Sivel is that it is made in pure groundnut oil with fresh white butter being kneaded into the dough. Its recipe has been passed over for four generations to maintain the same exquisite taste. The right mix of spices is the key to its addictive taste. Interesting. It looks like almost like... Um... Waffle cone. Yeah, it look it does. It looks like a waffle cone's been broken up. All right, let's see what happens. Why is that familiar? That flavor. What an interesting taste. This has a little kick at the end. My mouth's already on fire. Okay. 
That's good. This too, with some afternoon cha, baby. Yeah. <coughs> I think this has an even a little bit more pepper kick it's, at the end. It's hitting me. The other one was still there from the other. And now this I'm one's got a heavier new, pepper kick. Uh, <laughs> it's good. It's interesting. It's really good. Once again, it tastes fresh for being something packaged. You doing okay with this one? Because this one's got heavy pepper. Of all of them we've had. It kicks you in the back of the mouth. Oh. Ooh. That is so good. <laughs> Are you having flashbacks to our India trip? <laughs> oh, nothing was as hot as Rajasthan. Oh. Uh, Ooh, the big handful. Uh, <laughs> I wish I had something less hot. Oh, the big handful is so good. And oh. now there's that that peppery burn. Uh. I'm drinking like hot coffee and so it's doing nothing. This is so, I, I absolutely want, uh, specifically the savories that go with afternoon chai. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. absolutely want Andrani you to taste that. You can have that one. Here, take that one. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> poor ah. Corbin. If you're new to the channel, Corbin has uh, absolutely a, um, this isn't a, a rip on him or anything. It's a, it's a legitimate disorder where yeah, there's certain yeah. things that are way too... Pepperoni on a pizza will yeah, make him cry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what are we doing now? Woo. I'm hallucinating. Is this the, <laughs> is this the kalakurichi? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna have some onion. Our kalakurichi small onion muruku is loaded with all the goodness of onions, which I adore. Made with fresh small onions, this muruku will remind you of the onion pakoda during a rainy evening. Each uh, bite is a burst of flavor that will leave you craving more. This adds a unique twist to the traditional muruku, making it even more irresistible. All right. Uh, I bet this has some kick to it. Can you bring me ice water, please? <laughs> oh, poor Push Corbin. Me. He's messaging his wife. Needing some water. Woo! Because mm. I can't taste, my mouth is just I know on you fire. can't even I taste now. I won't be able to taste anything. That last one was very hot. <sighs> Slouch it. Oh, hold on. Oh, what's going on over there? Went to sleep? It just went to sleep. Oh. Uh, why, did, why did it do that? It was weird. All right. I love onions. I feel like we've had these in um, packaged. Oh. Immediately. Mm, nice onion flavor. Oh, It's like a more savory funyun. It's a funyun that's been Indianized. Yeah. Right? But I'll feel like because there's are like hollow basically. Cuz there comes in after it all of those flavors that are so uniquely Indian, but initially you've got that onion taste. Uh, and this too's got some peppery kick. I'm still involved in the last one, but yeah, it's got some. Ah. Uh, it's delicious though. Oh. Ah. Uh, fantastic. The only drawback <sighs> is for <sighs> White guys like ah. Corbin. <laughs> because these savories, all of them have a peppery kick at the end, which I freaking adore. And is no, no, no. so good ah. if you have a cup of chai. So yeah, any of these savories I can take home when we're going to be snacking with this with our afternoon cha, my wife and I. He's hurting. It's delicious, but these these savories are really peppery and spicy. Wally, uh, try it. You'll love this, actually. Oh. It's give really, it, really good. Try it. Love it. Yeah, uh, they they're all it. really good, but they've got at the end, they all of them have this pepper kick in the back of the throat. That's really nice. That's really Isn't good. that great? The, the flavor's delicious. I was very confused. I was like, someone was passed out. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Almost. He, he's on the way. Thank you, babe. Love oh, you. yeah, that was. Uh, that's quite good here. I don't so want to die again. Yeah. Uh, but that's quite delicious. One left. Oh. You got a favorite? Is it the banana chips? That one? Is it a different one? So That's far? hard now. It's all the savories. Yeah, yeah. That's just me. If I had to choose for the rest of my life to eat sweet or savory, it's not even a contest. I'm going to eat savory. I do like sweets. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not a lover of sweets. Um, So, it's definitely the savories. And it would be really hard for me to choose one above the other. I thought, I thought the banana chips would be head and shoulders. Every single one of these savories has been spectacular. Yeah, the last one? Yeah, it's that one. It's going to be Sator Melagusev. It's sourced directly from the famous Sator Mitai Kadai. 
in 19... <laughs> That's how good it is. Yes, enjoy. Good, huh? Um, These look like rabbit food. In 1914, M.S. Shamoganadar began a small sweet shop in the quaint little town of Sator in Virhunagar district. The uniquely flavored and wonderfully textured snacks attracted customers and eventually became an identity for the Sator town. And this Melagusev was the star item that took their identity across the globe. They look like rabbit food, right? It Have does. Food? Yeah, it does look like rabbit food. I'm sure it's more delicious than rabbit food. Absolutely. So well, I am. Muzzle tough. <laughs> wow. At first, you're like, there's no flavor on that. Right, yeah. <laughs> and it just it, explodes. It first in goes mouth. in, you're thinking, this is going to be bland. Yeah. And it then it says, welcome to India. <laughs> <laughs> it just right? explodes it in your really mouth. It really does. It begins with, with a bland nothing and then just becomes... It's quite good, though. This, of all the of all the savories, this is the one that has, for me, the most, like, the Indian spice. Stereotypical. Stereotypical, Indian, yeah. yeah. Just you taste this and there's nothing else in the world. This yeah. is Indian and nothing else tastes like it. Oh. Good, and I don't, I don't think this one has a pep reactor effect. Not I, much, I, no. Yeah, the leftover I have is from the prior. But also, savories. not as much. I mean, not as unique of a flavor. As no, but yeah, it's still good flavor. It's not as unique. So, what's your favorite? Wow, I think mine's still the banana chips. It's just surprising because I, I do not like banana chips. Yeah, that is that. That says a lot. But normally, like they're just the banana, and I'm like, I don't yeah. like banana. I like bananas. Uh huh. Like I, I will eat a banana. Right. I do not like banana flavored things. Right. I don't like banana chips that are. I don't like. Yeah, like I do. I eat banana pudding. Like dried foods. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of. Yeah. Um. I. So yeah. I think banana chips are still my the favorite. The banana chips are off the charts. The sweets wise, the first one we had is my favorite. Ah. This one was great too, though. The, uh, yeah, it was. Yeah, the yeah. one that had the cookie dough texture and then just kind of disappeared the, on you. you I love, yeah, so the coin batora misor pak and the very first one, the one that was like a gingerbread cookie with the, coconut, that's probably my favorite sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then savory. That's my favorite sweet. Yeah. My favorite savory, I loved every one of them. Yeah. Because the banana chips were so unique with that pepper, they get a little bit of an edge, but that's hard to say because every uh, there's not one of the savories I wouldn't want to eat all the time and have. But even though I die, it'd probably be banana chips and then the uh, these ones right here. Yeah. The small the onion. onion one was really, really good. Really good. Um... But they were all really good. Uh, the, 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 that one was really good, too. Um, they were all just too spicy. But I'm a, I'm a puss. So. Fall in love with the authentic taste of Tamil Nadu. You specifically Tamil uh, Diwali sweets, I believe. Yeah, specifically. Um, and I, I absolutely want to give them a shout-out. Uh, Urla, I guess, is the name of the company because they're uh, urla.shop. And you can find them on YouTube at, at Orla, as well as on Facebook and Instagram and X, Twitter. It's all, it's either Orla.shop, W-O-O-R-L-A, or Orla underscore shop. Um, Spectacular. And that they're not who sent it to us. Um, a, no, it was a, sent by a stupid, a stupid baby. baby. I, that wait, we're we, remaining anonymous. We don't know who. Uh, we know who it is. We, uh, the, we personally know who it is. Uh, he's, he's, a, he's a patron. But I, we don't know if if they don't specifically oh. say it. I usually right. deem on not they want to shouting remain them out. Um, anonymous. So if you one, if you'd like to, we haven't done an opening of anything in long a long time. time. Uh, a food uh, thing in a long time. But if you'd like to send so us good. something, we're not asking you to send us anything. But if you'd like to, because we always get asked after these videos when we get sent stuff. Yeah. How can I send you something? We do have a PO box. We have a PO box. It's in the uh, description of every single video. The address. Just know it takes it. It it does take time, obviously, for it to not only get here, but then for us to know it's in there to get it and then sometimes we get it and we bring it here and we have to wait a couple of days of filming because we have stuff we're doing yeah. to start to include it yeah. so just thank you for your but patience if you'd like to but once again thank you so much for sending oh. I hope you enjoyed it we haven't done a food video in quite some time and truly if you haven't purchased for them uh, I mean I I would like just, shout their praises this is for the freshness of for this. For specifically people in America that don't have, like, they aren't in Tamil and can't get the uh, authentic one. Because I can't, like, these are Jodila. I can't imagine fresh 
this stuff. I agree. Right? I agree. And truly, to. I mean, we don't know a thing about South Indian food, but I would assume you it's guys... in Delhi? No. Oh. <laughs> you guys would know. And many of you are probably even putting in the comments of, yes, I live wherever you may live around the world, and you're from Tamil Nadu, and that this is something that you've gotten yourself. Really, really good. Thank you so much for sending it again. Yeah. Um, and uh, I hope you enjoyed that. We I, did. I, How are you feeling? You doing I, okay I'm, now? I'm better with the water. Okay, good. I love good, the good, good. Water. Just...